You know when you wake up in the morning and you feel vulnerable? The vulnerable word may not really give it justice. You know that time when you feel like just things are exposed or you're like, what am I doing in this life? What am I... Like, I, I know I'm doing really good steps, but it's taking me away from people that I love or because it's separating me and I'm noticing that I'm on a different journey. You know, as a speaker, I'm a speaker coach. We, we talk about things to really help us get into this space, the space of really understanding what this life is about so that we can speak about these big things like that our talk will really be meaningful to people. This is video four and I'm talking about the superstar status as a speaker because when you get to those 14 steps as a superstar status, it's not in the ego. But when you get that foundation of these 14 layers of a mental approach because everything tethers together. When I'm talking about vulnerability today, I'm talking about everything in your life where you feel vulnerable or maybe you're trying to bring these relationships to you, but you know that you're the, the space that you're trying to live in to be able to stay motivated and to be able to hear your frequency so that you can really show up every day, show up in every video, show up with those new clients, show up with those people that are looking for assistance in their business, in their, in their lifestyle, in their health, in their spiritual journey, whatever you do. So I think about this. How are you showing up today in your vulnerability? Allow yourself to open up. Allow yourself to break those walls, even the glass that really separates you from those people that are really seeking support. Your business relies on it. Your passion and what you do relies on you being in that space of that raw space. And that raw space can really support you in feeling sexy. And sexy is important because it's that energy, that undercurrent energy that makes you dance inside, that gets you into your office and you do, you do what's in your passion and you don't run right away from your office and your office stuff. That when you're in coaching, if that's what you do in your business, that you're in and you're right on so you can feel their vibe and their flow and you can be there for them. This vulnerability is so important. It's going to take you into a sore kind of a space. What do you think about vulnerability? Add your comment. Tell me how you feel. I'm on the fifth video right now, or the fourth. I have to look at this, but I'm doing a series with 15 videos. If you want to be at that superstar status, stay with me and get to each video. Also, go into my bio. Get my tree. Start building your global vision so you can take a bigger step out there and really speak to what you're really doing overall. This is going to help you build your five-year plan. This is going to help you build your business. This is, I mean, there's so many things because we're going to talk about your words also. Words are meaningful. I feel like I'm rewriting the Webster Dictionary because words mean something. And we start looking at the definition like fail. You know, I start thinking about fail safe. Like fail is beautiful. But sometimes, you know, when I was a CPA, I used to think that failing was so bad. Like, oh my gosh, stay in my lane, stay in my lane. It's like, I don't want to be around that because we don't want to just stay in our lane. <sighs> I know, Ollie, you want to be part of the video. This is what you get. That's why those are my business partners right there. Got your Robert with the white. He was in my video the other day. And now Ollie, he has to speak his mind. I love you so much. Keep yourself going in your vulnerability. Even write and journal about what this means to you. Really feel that so that you can get to the next level. Again, everything tethers together. My name is Rhonda. You have an insightful day and I love you. Go out there and do what is in your passion.